Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. So today, it's all about the Bic Crystal, the iconic, inexpensive, uh, for many people, disposable pen manufactured by Bic since the 1950s. And uh, it comes in a number of iterations, uh, certainly in a variety of colors, probably more now than ever before. For a long time, it was pretty much blue, black, green, and red, uh, as in the Bic 4 color pen. But, but now it's, uh, you, you see quite a diversity of colors offered in the Bic Crystal. But I want to just take a closer look, uh, and I've had some requests at the sort of to compare and contrast the different Bix. Uh, these are standard, the standard Bic crystals, um, not special editions or anything like that. And uh, basically, they differ in some physical characteristics, but where they, of course, differ mostly is in the writing point. So we're going to look at the crystal fine point, the standard crystal extra smooth, I guess it is, um, the crystal soft and the crystal extra bold. So we'll start with the crystal fine point. This has a 0 0.7 millimeter tip. The standard crystal, I'm going to call it, uh, has a 1.0 millimeter tip. The crystal soft has a 1.2 millimeter tip and the crystal bold or extra bold has a 1.6 millimeter tip and that actually says so right there um, all of them have an imprint indicating here crystal fine crystal soft this just says crystal 1.6 millimeter the classic doesn't say anything on it it's also the one with the clear barrel uh, it does have a Bic embossment here uh, with the Bic Man um, and the this crystal fine is made in France, at least the one I have. This standard crystal is made in Mexico. Uh, this crystal soft is made in France and this crystal bold is made in Mexico. So let's come out a little bit and take a look one by one. It has the of course blue cap which indicates the ink color and of course we notice immediately that it has this translucent amber colored barrel on the fine point. Uh, somebody told me that you could determine when um, this ink was, uh, when this ink tube was made by the number that is on it. And I don't see any date, but there is numbers, so perhaps they correlate with the date of manufacture. If anybody knows how to decode that, let me know. It would be interesting uh, to see. But anyways, so here you have the amber translucent barrel. We have a blue cap on the end. Again, indicating ink color. These fine points are available blue, black, green and red, perhaps some other colors that I'm not aware. Um, uh, this pen I picked up in uh, France, actually, when I was there. 
um, earlier in the year. So there's our fine point. Here's our classic standard, what I call standard, um, Bic crystal. Again, a clear, completely clear barrel, uh, as they've always been. A little air hole there. And again, blue cap. Not quite the same color blue, a little bit lighter uh, blue than the fine. And, you know, what can we say about this pen? Again, there's numbers on here. I don't know what they mean, um, but probably when and where this ink tube was made. So, this is the iconic pen. Again, with the cap to match the ink color. Uh, here in the U.S., these are marketed as Bic Crystal. Uh, I think Extra Smooth is what they call them, but these are the standard Bic Crystals. Here is the Bic Crystal Soft. You can see this one has a UPC code on it, uh, as often these are sold um, individually, uh, at least in France, and um, so they're not part of a multi-pack, although they certainly can be purchased that way. Let's also show, let me take these caps off, a difference between the Crystal Soft um, and the Standard. You'll notice that the tip of the ink tube, the point, has, is color keyed to the ink. So instead of that sort of tan or brownish color, we have a blue tip on this. Again, the soft is made in France, where, of course, Bic is a French company. Blue cap. 1.2 millimeter tip. And then we will open this. And again, look, we're back to the, whoop. We're back to the brown cap, or point, I should say. Here, this is the Bic Crystal 1.6 millimeter tip. Again, marketed here in the United States as extra bold. You'll notice, let me bring the soft back up. The soft is a blue tinted translucent barrel to match the blue ink. All the crystals, regardless of the ink color, let me see if I have, here's a pink one. Have this smoky gray translucent barrel. Now, what I find interesting, however, is that on these blue crystals, you can clearly see the ink tube and you can see the ink level. On the colors of the Bic Extra Bold, there's a white ink tube. And so it does not allow you uh, to see the colors, which I actually don't like. I don't know why they do that. There's probably a reason. If anybody knows, let me know. See, here's a purple one. White ink tube. Can't see the ink level in these at all. But on the blue, and here's a black one, you can see they use a clear ink tube where you can see the color or the, le I'm sorry, the level of the ink. So I, I just, I don't know why Bic doesn't, doesn't use a clear ink tube 
for these colored inks uh, there, there's probably some reason why they use a white ink tube okay so there we have it so now what we're going to do is you know people have different preferences of course um, and I'm going to post these caps on the end and you will notice there is again a, I don't know if the camera can really pick it up but the the fine point crystal the cap is just a little bit of a lighter color so start with this There it is. Let's go up. I want to These pens uh, were made in the United States for quite a while, but they have moved manufacturing to Mexico.
think here you can better see the difference between the fine, the classic, the soft, the extra bold, but perhaps too in the writing. The blue ink in the extra bold seems darker, uh, but that may be an illusion based on the fact that the line is really much thicker. I don't know if it is a could also be a different ink formulation because of um, the larger ball tip. Yeah, hard to say. But you can certainly see the difference in the points. Um, I was a bold user almost exclusively for a long time. Of course, I never really used the fine point Bic that much. I would occasionally, back in the days when we wrote checks and did all that kind of stuff, I find, found that the fine point was good for more precise writing and then through school and that I was I always had a bag full of classic big crystals and then whenever the extra bold was introduced at least in the US I kind of really went for that I loved the dark bold smoothness of it but once I tried the soft, and these are still not sold really in the stores here in the U.S. You can get them online, um, and they are sold in Europe, but um, boy, I love the soft. It's become my favorite, and I think it's, I just find the soft a nice sort of medium midway between the bold and the classic. So I like it a lot. In terms of In terms of ink stability here, the soft actually looks like it smudges the most. But again, that's an immediate rub after laying it down.
tend to have a little bit more splotching here uh, with the wider tips 1.2 1.6 and less with the smaller tips but yeah anyways just a general overview again fine classic soft bold big crystal four different variations all wonderful writing instruments dependable efficient inexpensive um, you know I think it they, it hits all the buttons so thank you for spending these minutes with me as we looked at the variations on the Bic Crystal and I appreciate you watching share like and subscribe if you're so inclined and I'll see you again soon here on Always Analog